guys, it's just Jack on Sports here. Today I have another very special guest. If you saw my last video, well, I'm coming at you with another one. It's another spring training player. This is Steve Moyers. He's part of the Seattle Mariners. We're just gonna ask him a couple questions, just like last time. So Steve, could you tell us where you grew up and how old you were when you started playing baseball? Um, well, I'm from East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Uh, not far from here. Um, I, th I was probably, I'd say four or three years old when I started playing baseball. I mean, I'm sure I picked up the ball when I was when I was a pretty young, pretty young kid. Um, did you play any other sports besides baseball when you were younger? And was baseball your favorite? Uh, yeah, baseball was definitely my favorite sport that I played. Um, but yeah, I grew up playing soccer. My dad was a big soccer player, so I played a lot of soccer. I also played basketball. I played hockey for a little while. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean. I tried, played, I tried to play as many sports as I could. Yeah, it's always good to get in as much exercise as you possibly can, you know? <laughs> that, exactly. And why did you pick the University of Rhode Island to play college ball? Um, so I was in high school when uh, they started recruiting me, and um, I went to a couple of their showcases, I, uh, and I really like kind of fell in love with the school. I went and visited a lot. It was also like, a, I also love the beach, too. So like when I, me and my family used to go to the beach a lot there, so I kind of just, I kind of just uh, fell in love with the guys and the coaching staff, and I felt like it was going to be a good fit for me, so that's why I chose the University of Rhode Island. What was your favorite experience at college there at Rhode Island? Um, I'd have to say it was last year, actually, when we uh, we made it to a regional. We played uh, South Carolina game one, and uh, we were the four seed, they were the one seed, and we ended up beating them on Friday night, five wow. to four, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome. There was like yeah. there was like ten thousand people there. Wow. Yeah, it was people. The fans were going. The fans were unbelievable. The atmosphere yeah. was unbelievable. This is a great thing to be a part of. Yeah. Um, my favorite vacation spot is actually Cape Cod. Um, could you tell us a little bit about on um, the Cape Cod League? Because I love going to the games. And you could and could you tell us what team you were on? Yeah, actually, I uh, I played for the Brewster Whitecaps, which was in Brewster, Mass, which is right on the Cape. Um. The, uh, I mean, like, the Cape Cod League's pretty cool, actually, because you get to play against, um, like, pretty good, really good competition. It's, like, the best players in the, in the, in the nation, actually, go there, which is pretty cool. I was only on a temp temporary contract, so I was only there for about four weeks, but while I was there, I got to meet a bunch of cool guys, you know what I mean, guys that I'll always be friends with and stay connected to. Um, it was just great, and I mean, Cape Cod's a great place to be in the summer, like, oh, with yeah. the beaches and yeah. everything. It's great. It's unreal. Then, where were you when the Seattle Mariners contacted you? You were drafted by them. I was actually, so I wasn't actually. I was waiting for the draft to come out, and uh, I actually didn't get picked up in the draft, which was a little disappointing. But um, it's okay. At least you got picked up by them. <laughs> yeah, it's better yeah. than nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Um, so I was actually on the beach with uh, my dad on Father's Day. Yeah, it was me, my sister, my dad, and my girlfriend, and uh, I was just laying laying by the beach, you know, hanging out, and um, I actually got a phone call from my from my coach at University of Rhode Island, and he was like, yeah, I just got off the phone with the Seattle Mariners, they want to sign you, and I just, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't even believe it, I was ecstatic, wow. you know what I mean, I was so surprised, and uh, I was happy that I was given the opportunity to play for them, and, and here I am, you know. Yeah, what's a typical late day like for you in spring training, like, what do you do? Um, well, this is actually going to be my first spring training, so uh, okay. I haven't, I haven't been to spring training, but... So when I when I did sign and I did go down there, a typical day was like pretty much we wake up, have breakfast, then noon we'd head over to the field for uh, for lunch, then we'd have when we'd have all of our meetings around like 2:30, then we'd go out, we'd practice for like two or three hours, then we'd shower up, get ready for the game, and then we had a game pretty much every single day yeah. at seven o'clock. So yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Um, what do you do during spring training? I know you haven't been there much, but what do you usually do like d during your downtime? During our downtime? Um, well, I mean, there's really not much downtime, but um, sometimes, like last year I brought my uh, my golf clubs out. I like to play golf a lot. Oh. So um, a couple of us like would go out, we'd play some golf, um, or try to go get like a good dinner or something. There was a movie theater down the street, so. Once in a while, we'd go catch a movie, you know. Yeah. But there wasn't really, there wasn't really too much downtime. I mean, if we did have an off day, then which it was nice, you know what I mean. Yeah. We try to make the yeah, most of it. Nice but break. yeah, nice break. Or we try to catch up on a little bit of sleep, you know what I mean? Because yeah. the days are just so long, you know. And 
when I was in Arizona, like the weather was it was so hot. It was like 120 You're degrees. You're always out about August. Yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy, but um, yeah, I mean it's good. Yeah, what kind of training do you do? Just like weightlifting, like ground balls? Like yeah, we do, uh, so for pitchers and um, fielding players, it's a little bit different. Yeah. So like a typical day for me would be, I'd, uh, we'd, do, we'd get our running in, and stretch, <laughs> run, throw, um, then maybe do some like fielding practice. Sometimes I was with the infielders, or sometimes I was just with us. Um, and then if we had to throw a bullpen that day, mm -hmm. after our bullpen, we would go in the weight room, lift, and then we would, uh, after that, we'd have to shag uh, batting practice for the um, everyday players. So. Yeah. So was playing baseball a, a childhood childhood dream for you? And who is your baseball idol? Yeah. Um. Of course. I mean, that's what I grew up when I was a little kid. When I was your age, you know what I mean. I just kept telling myself that I wanted to be a professional baseball player. You know what I mean? Like, even if everybody said like, "Oh, that's stupid," you know what I mean? Like, you'll never make yeah. it. Like, I just kept. Just kept grinding yeah, and just there's always those haters, you know, in the world. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean you'll have you'll grow up, you know what I mean? You'll have people telling you that you can't do something, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. you just gotta just stay positive, just say, Okay, yeah, we'll see, you know what I mean? And just I can prove you wrong. Exactly, know? exactly. That's that's the that's the main thing. Just just prove everybody wrong, you know what I mean? Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Yeah, know? did you have an idol when you were growing up, like a favorite player? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm trying to think about growing right now. I really, uh, I really like John Lester. He's yeah. been kind of my favorite pitcher. I, I mean, I was a huge Red Sox fan my whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, when he was with the Red Sox, I mean, I that's the guy that I followed. You know what I mean? I liked. I tried to basically mimic him. You know what I mean? I like like his mechanics. I liked all the pitches that he threw. So I'd say that was that was probably my biggest idol growing up. And one last question: Could you give any advice to young players like myself, like who want to become a major league player like yourself? Yeah, just. Just keep working hard, buddy. You know what I mean, and just just keep coming here every single day. You know, just keep working, working out. Keep keep listening. Like I was telling you earlier, just just stay coachable. You know, listen to all your coaches. You know what I mean, and hang out with people that are going to be a good influence around you. You know what I mean, kids that kids yeah, that definitely. like to work hard just as hard as you. You know what I mean. That's just just um just put yourself with with other people that you know are going to get you better. You know yeah. what I mean. So. That's pretty much the biggest thing. All right, thank you for your time. You're welcome, Jeff. All right, Anytime, see you guys. Buddy. Peace.